Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about some differences between one of our most popular models, the short conic, and a similar model that we found over the internet. Um, our model was made with uh, professional use and restaurants in mind. Uh, every component of it is strong and durable. First of all, this model is taller than the other, allowing, to, allowing it to catch more attention at the bar. It holds three liters, and this one only holds two and a half. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the ice tubes in the center of them. So first of all, let me show you how these come apart. This slides right out of here. It can turn in its base. It's very easy because this is filled at the bar and taken to the table and just put right in there. Now for the ice tube, it's a separate piece to the rest. So all you have to do is turn it and take it out like this. and fill it with ice, you simply unscrew the top, fill it up, and put it back in. Now with this one, it's a little bit more complicated. First of all, it doesn't, uh, the reservoir section does not slide out from the base. It has to be turned and taken out like that. It has this sort of lock mechanism, which sounds like a good idea, but if this is heavy and being carried around, it's not so easy to balance. Now the ice cube is connected at the bottom of the reservoir, so it has to be turned to be able to take it out. Unfortunately, it's also attached to the lid. The lid cannot come out without taking off the, the ice tube as well. And the lid is very flimsy, as you can see. So this is good if you're going to have some friends over, but not so good if you're working in a restaurant. Let's talk a little bit about the taps. Both of them are removable this way. Ours has a streamlined design. It's made of clear plastic, so you can see if it's dirty or not. Um, the plastic is the same as what the reservoir is made of. It is uh, BPA free and CE approved. Um, it has an area here that you can customize it with your bar or a restaurant logo. And it also comes apart for easier cleaning. All you have to do is put it in soda overnight and it will clean itself, basically. Now let's take a look at this one. This one has more movable parts and so it's not foolproof and not convenient if you're in a hurry and working at a restaurant. So it's also, it's not clear so you can't tell if it's dirty or not. Um, and it is not marked with the CE approved seal so we don't know if it's technically food, proof, um, food safe. Let's talk a little bit about the bases now. As I mentioned before, this one just slides easily out of the base, like this. This one, you have to turn a bit to reach the, the markers where you can find the lock mechanism. It goes back in like that. Now, with our model, uh, it is made with, with really thick plastic and it's very heavy, so it's sturdy and it won't fall over. With this model, you can't really see it because of the design, but this is much thinner and also uh, much lighter. It's very light. Now, as it, it is advertised as having a lazy Susan on the bottom, and you can see that it turns around. But in practice, it doesn't really work. Both of the bases can be customized with your bar logo or sticker. Um, however, ours is again easier to do because of the flat surface, whereas this one is rounded, which will give you wrinkles in your sticker. So, in conclusion, this model was designed with durability, stability, and uh, convenience in mind to make it perfect for using in a bar or restaurant, whereas this one was not. So, let's see how they work. As you can see, this one has a really nice flow. Now let's try this one. It's not quite as nice. Weight can be a good indicator of stability and quality, so let's just take a look at how these compare.
This one is 2.7 kilos. And this one is 1.3 kilos, so roughly half. 